Hello. Today I would like to demonstrate you a new tool which uh, helps to create a cutout animation in Synfig. Uh, this tool was implemented by Evgeny Katonov and uh, here I'm going to show how it works. Uh, let's have one layer or we can select uh, several layers well, let's add a box a rectangle and let's select them both and uh, here is a tool, new tool icon uh, the tool is called cutout tool so let's select it and let's draw an arbitrary region on the screen. Ta da! And uh, the selected layers are cut uh, by this region. And uh, you can see it creates a group of layers so you can move it, translate, etc. And uh, when you click on the group, the group is selected, uh, but not its content because the children lock uh, parameter is automatically enabled when you use this tool. And uh, uh, the best thing is that that operation is absolutely non-destructive so if you cut something wrong you can go inside of the group you can see its content the content the two layers we have used they are there and on top of them there is a special mask layer which is just an ordinary region you can edit it and uh, restore any image part. You can add new points and configure the cut region as you like. Uh, that's it. Uh, this is a very simple tool, but uh, I th um, it is greatly it should greatly improve uh, the experience when you create a cut out animation let me show you uh, the typical workflow of its usage let's say uh, we want to animate a hand of this girl so uh, let's start by creating a skeleton layer we will need only one bone here and let's create three bones for the hand Second bone and the third bone like this. Now let's hide skeleton. We don't need it right now, and uh, well, we need to cut. We need to cut uh, this part, this part, and this part of the hand and uh, leave the remaining without the hand as well so we have uh, four parts so let's start cutting but before we do that let's create a copy of this image so it will be easier for us okay let's start 
let's select this okay we can edit the mask and name it okay let's get to the next part This one will be tricky because it is overlaid by the other parts. It is overlaid. So we will need to uh, Part partially recreate its its content. So so let's first let's uh, let's get a color and use a spline spline tool to. To remove the parts we don't need. Like this and uh, like this. We will need an outline, an outline here. Let's make it thicker. Like this. Mm. And uh, let's create an outline around. Mm -hmm. You might notice I have created this layer under the mask. I can put it on top of it, but if I create it under the mask layer, it will be automatically cropped and uh, I think this is creates an awesome artistic effect, so I keep the layer here. This creates a illusion of variable line width and I think this looks pretty cool. So we have uh, created this region and free and uh, finally we will we will we will rock here. Yeah. We will cut uh, the remaining parts. Uh, we need everything except the hand. And let's display 
everything together. This one should go to the bottom. And uh, as you can see, we have uh, origins for all parts in the same place. This is uh, not very comfortable when we start linking those parts to the skeleton, so I will change the origins this and for this. So we will have layout like this. And let's display a skeleton now. And let's link the parts to the corresponding bones. This to this. And this to this. And uh, yeah. Okay, let's uh, test it. Hmm. Here I've got something wrong. This should be linked to... Aha, this should be... Right, um, this should be linked to... Okay. And... Like this. This should be linked to this bone and this to this bone. Okay, let's try. Good. And uh, fine. Okay. So we have everything linked. And now we can try to create a simple animation. Let's go to Okay, let's set, let's change the initial position for now. And switch to TCB mode and uh, let's start animating Okay, let's see what we've got. Mm -hmm. I think we missed some some secondary motion.
So it's something like this. Well, I hope you've got an idea. This tool simplifies the process of creating cutout animation a lot because you don't need to uh, open bitmap editor and cut your image there. You can cut everything right into Synthic. So mm, this is what this feature is about. That's all. Thank you for attention and goodbye.